I see. I see the hype now, Kim. I see it. It, it was worth it. Hey guys, it's Rainisha, back to make your rainy days bright and sunny. Today, we are here, as you can tell by the description, um, for rainy reviews, and this is on the KKW um, Smoky Volume 1 palette. Um, this is the packaging. I just got this in the mail yesterday, I believe. Um, I've opened it just to look at the colors, which are phenomenal, but I haven't swatched it or anything. This is like a first impressions. I'm doing this with you guys. We're gonna see together if it's worth the hype. I've been hearing a lot about um, the KKW eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've been hearing great things, that they're well pigmented, um, they blend very well, and just everything phenomenal. I haven't heard anything negative about them. So we're gonna see together. As you can see, I already have my base on. Um, more or less, it's pretty much like my foundation routine video. Um, I didn't go in with contour, but I did go in with some bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit. Uh, that's the only step that I would say it's different from that video that I did today. Um, I did also go ahead and do my eyebrows. I know you guys usually see my see me do my eyebrows less, but because I'm reviewing these eyeshadows, I just wanted everything else to be done. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna put on some eye primer and then we're gonna be right back. So because of my undying love for Kim Kardashian, it should be no surprise that I'm like obsessed with her packaging. I love that it's minimalistic. I love that her life um, style is minimalistic. And this packaging, guys, you can see it has a simple KKW beauty on there. And then on the back, it tells us, um, shows us that it's a 6 p.m. palette. Uh, there's only six colors in the palette. Um, and then it tells you the names of them. I love neutral palettes. Um, I've said it in my videos before, one of my most reached for palettes is the Take Me On Vacation palette from Kylie Cosmetics, which is also pretty neutral. It does have some pops of colors in there, but for the most part it's really neutral. And you can tell they're sisters. Sorry that this palette is dirty, I've had it for a while and like I said, it's one of my most reached for palettes. Um, this one's probably going to look like that in a couple months. So I'm just going to start with one of my um, blending blush, bl <laughs> blending brushes from Wet n Wild and I'm going to take um, Risqué, this um, nude color here, and we're just going to use that as a transition shade for all the other colors so that they blend nicely together. definitely gonna be my go-to palette. I've only used one color and I can already tell you that. I'm gonna take this brush. Um, it's no name. The company is also no name. I don't know where I got these brushes from. Um, but I'm gonna take the warm gray tone and I'm gonna t <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to use words. I'm gonna take that and put it into my crease. Um, so I'm gonna put that where I want my crease to be because as you guys know, um, if you've been following my beauty page, I have hooded eyes which are very tiny. So I like to do my crease a little above where it's supposed to be, um, just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And I don't want it to be too dark because it's just creating a shadow. We're going to go in with some more colors and it's going to help this. Um, this is just going to help create some depth for those other colors that we use.
gray shade just to warm it up a little bit. softer and I could all um, <laughs> go in and blend a lot more which I'm probably about to do as soon as I stop talking to you guys explaining why I'm doing these things Just because um, I do want to use this shimmer shade but I feel like it's gonna come out a little too dark and I don't want it to be so dark so um, this is just gonna brighten that it's gonna give it a brighter base so that it's not appearing as dark as um, it would be on its own and this color here is it's definitely a shadow but it is a more creamy type of formula I've never worked with a shadow like this before I'm kind of in love right now to use all of the colors in this palette so far we've used five of them <laughs> so this is gonna be the last shade to use I'm just taking a super flat brush
like just a little bit of intensity back to that corner so I'm gonna tap a little bit into the gray tone and then a little bit into that dark and then um, tap off the excess and go back into that outer vein. some more steps to my makeup but as far as the KKW palette goes I'm done with this and I'm impressed I'm definitely gonna be reaching for that I love how tiny it is I love that I can like throw it in my bag if I need to I have a small bag um, just cuz women you know how it goes you know why I have a small bag um, so yeah I love everything so far I'm gonna put on um, some eyeliner and some mascara and I'll be right back Okay guys, so I added some final details. I did eyeliner and mascara, and I also did a lip. Um, uh, for the lip, I did a brown uh, lip pencil, and then I went in with one of my KKW by Kylie Cosmetics uh, cream liquid lipsticks. Uh, this one is the one in the shade Kim. Um, just to go with the look, I felt like I should stay on theme and I'm not going anywhere so that's why I did a lip today guys because as you know I haven't been doing any lips because of the masks yeah so <laughs> back on topic this is a finished look um, and I'm kind of obsessed I'm kind of mad that I don't have anywhere to go I'm about to go find somewhere to go just so I can wear this look out because I love it as always thank you for joining me hopefully your day's a little more sunny now i know mine is for sure and thanks for joining me on this rainy reviews um the verdict is love so yeah join me next time i don't know what my next video is gonna be but definitely hit that notification button so once i do drop that video you'll know right away like comment and share with your friends share 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 so that they know how wonderful of a palette this is um i guess i'll see you guys next time later also let me know down in the comment section below do you want to see some more rainy reviews do you want to see some more tutorials do you want it like this like a two-in-one um review tutorial uh as always guys thank you for joining me and i'll see you next time